Florida Portraits offers you a closer look at some of the people and places that affect the quality of life in this diverse state. In this segment, we take a trip back in time thanks to a 1971 audio recording at Wakulla Springs. We also discover how one grandson is continuing a family tradition at the state park. Wakala, and your name mean mistress of strange water. We were contacted by a gentleman named Roger Crawford, and he told us that he had this recording. Tell you all about the river, all about the spring, and all about the fish out there. He had made the recording in 1971. Um, he had come down to the park. He was working on a project to promote Tallahassee and highlight what Tallahassee had to offer. They were out on a number of sites doing interviews and things, so they had come down to do the boat tours here at Wakulla Springs. And the recording was of Luke Smith. This is the largest spring in the world. It flows over 600,000 gallons of water a minute. Apparently through the years he had held on to the recording uh, according to him, he said he put it in his sock drawer and uh, it stayed there for many years and just this past year he um, was looking through some things and found it and he contacted us. Are we ready? Come on down. And his grandson, Luke Smith, is also working here now as a partner. I used to follow him down when I was like I was just a little kid. Probably about, I followed him down, probably about 18 years old. I used to come down here with him all the time. We'd ride with him, follow him around. Uh, that he's my island. That wide long grass you see growing on the bottom, that's called a freshwater eel grass. Grass that grows here in Florida and all the rivers and freshwater streams. I think he was training me to do that the whole time, so <laughs> he kind of knew I was going to fall into a game plan. Now in the olden time, when the Indian was around here, yeah, they were the one who discovered this spring. And at that time, this was a small little spring. Might as well say nothing but a dream. It gives you a direct tie. It's not just something that you read about or um, try to learn about. It's something you can actually hear for yourself. It, it brings the past alive. We have 14 different species of freshwater fish out there. We have brim, shiners, bass, catfish, and all other different kinds. Well, he loved to do this here. He uh, kind of put his Co cooperated his stuff into the, the theme up here, and uh, he kind of got it where it is right now. He uh, kind of made a singing about old Henry and the boat ride. Next we're going to see now is Henry, the little pole walking fish. Don't call him out for you. All right, Henry. Want you to meet us at the pole? Wake up now, call you heard what it says. Through the many years, um, that was the, the, the culture here. They, um, the boat drivers here were able to develop a certain style, a certain type of tour. And when you go on the river and, and you hear the tour that way, it really feels like we'll call it. It comes alive that way. It gives you a strong connection to the park and all that history that's gone on here through the years. Now we're moving on towards the deepest point of the spring. 185 feet deep. Yeah, watch this. Might be a little slippery just to watch this way, boy. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here right now. And uh, my kids and grandkids wouldn't be here. Sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles and aunts and everybody. I mean, we just want to be family down here. For people to be able to come down and realize what a truly wonderful place Wakulla Springs is, it's very unique, um, not just in the outstanding natural resources, but in the long uh, history and culture of the area and what went on here. And, you know, that that's still going on. It's not just something we can talk about. Luke Smith, they still do the tours the same way that were done in the past. Alligators, deals, turtles, snails, snakes. It's a direct connection to the history, and that's kind of unique. There's not a lot of places that have that real direct connection that you're able to still experience it in much the same way that you did in the past. So it's uh, it just adds to the mystique and the specialness of Wakulla, and and why people keep coming out, and when they do come, why they feel that connection themselves, and they're drawn out here. How long is this river? Nine miles long. 
the Magic River is. The river goes on down about nine miles down in the six to the St. Mars River. His granddad was down here, his great granddad was down here. I mean, they started back, I don't know what, I don't know exactly how long they started back, but the whole Smith family started right around here. He paid away from it. I, I'll put it that way. Water stay the same, Tabby Day. The year round. 70, 72. This the head of the river, walk color river. Papa, I thank you for everything you've done for me. I appreciate everything so much. I'm glad you did that because you made the best man out of me. And I love you and I thank you. I'm trying to show you everything and tell you all about it. And I hope everybody enjoyed the trip.